Everybody, it's Bill from MattTracker.com, and welcome to this episode of Behind the Mask. See, these episodes here, when I get to talk to somebody else who's also a big collector and a mask fan, are really important to me because it helps preserve the memories of mask. And when we do this, it shows that it, you know, I'm not just crazy and starting a YouTube channel and a website around all this. It, there's other people out there that are willing to jump in and you know, show what they have and talk about their mask memories. And I want to introduce you to Martin here. Martin, before we jump into mask, um, so let me know about from where you're from and, you know, how have you been through um, COVID so far? Have you have been okay? Uh, been able to quarantine okay? Well, hi, Bill. Uh, first off, I just want to say thank you uh, very much for this opportunity to, to do this with you. You know, it means a lot. To me, and yeah, I'm, um, it's a strange situation. But as you can tell from my accent, I'm from the UK, but the northern part of the UK, the northeast, to be exact. And many people will will have heard of it. Some people have not. I'm from Newcastle, uh, England. Newcastle, England is is where you can look it up on the on the Google there if you wish. But um, yeah, I mean, this is strange times for all of us that we've been in, and it's affected everybody all around the world and we're certainly not going to forget it um, no matter how long it lasts or when it's going to end nobody knows um, but I think communication is the biggest thing we can do right now you know to for everybody and it'll just keep everybody together and together is how we're going to get through this you know I really believe that um, and if we just keep following the guidelines which the majority of us are you know you, there's a few you know that maybe aren't but again if as long as we're doing it you know that's the main thing and um, overall you know I'm still working from home you know um, in my job that I do I'm a customer service representative you know um, and I'm, I've been doing that for a decade and a half now so I'm well um, I'm well in, knowledgeable in, in that area and um, well, yeah, I'm doing fine, um, and glad to see that you are too, Bill. I'm doing as fine as I can. Um, I, if you've followed along through, um, you know, the past few months, um, I work. I, you know, I'm an IT manager, so I've been lucky enough to work from home, and I was also lucky enough to have the infrastructure in place uh, before all this happened for our employees to be able to work from home too, which is really important to me that they're able to stay safe. And it's important for everybody to stay safe as best they can. Not everybody has the luxury and not everybody cares. So it, you know, take it with a grain of salt on that front. Um, one of the things I want to talk to you about is the chili find, but I want to talk to you a little bit more about, you know, how you, how you became a fan of mask. If you can you know, remember as far back as you can talk a little bit about your collection, how it stands today. And um, we'll take it from there. Sure. Um, you know, as far as I can remember, I was born in 1982. Great year to be good, born. Right? Good year. It's a good year. Yeah. And um, so I, were, I was right in the thick of it. You know, toy mania in the 80s was huge. You know, I mean, you had all sorts of things, um, including mask, um, as you know. And yeah, it was on it was on TV, you know, it was an animated show. I just got into the, the vehicles a lot more, all the moving parts. But one thing I did like about Mask, I mean, I appreciate it more now as as an adult than I would a, a kid. I was just interested in getting the toys and playing with them, you know, as everybody was. But if you notice at the end of every episode, there was always um there was always a, a little part at the very end yeah. teaching kids about things what not to do you know and I, I really appreciate that because you know it was educating children on you know the, the the dangers out there and yeah um you know as well as that but everybody wanted to see you know um 
the good guys win essentially being being masked, you know. But as a as a wrestling fan as well, I always lean towards the heels, the bad guys, you know. So when you when you would when 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 mask would come along, I just um the the regret I did had was I didn't have switchblade because that was the one I really wanted. And instead I got Rhino. <laughs> I remember that for, for a Christmas, you know. Um but Still a good one to have. I think Condor was my first one. I think it was it was quite cheap at the time, um, you know. And I remember getting that uh, Boulder Hill for the Christmas as well. I uh, remember getting that, um, and I've still got my original. I've just recently purchased a new Boulder Hill. Like it's completing everything, but um, I've still got my original one. The only thing I've got is the the jail cell and the the board itself, but and, and the Boulder. But that's it. But now I've got a complete one. It's kind of like yeah. Back to the childhood, um, but definitely, um, you know, it had a it made a, a big impression on me as a child. And I remember my dad would put the stickers on for me, and, and they're pretty good to this day. You know, they're still there. I don't have, um, apart from the boxed ones, um, I only have a couple that's complete from the original collection. I've still got all the figures, most of the masks, um, but in the UK. We only had the long masks. We didn't have the short masks. Yep. So I've all made our long masks, and I think it's really hard to get the, the short masks these days. I haven't even tried to be fair, but, um, you know, I think there was UK variants, the European variants, you know, and there was a, then the American stuff. Um, so, yeah, you know. Yeah, there was a, it was a weird kind of way that things were released, I would say. Um, and Because, as you said, the, you – over there you didn't have the short masks so i don't and this is something that i'm trying to i'm trying to get to the bottom of fully and I, i'm really hoping to talk to somebody that worked with kenner one day is how the production push out was you know thought of and how it was you know derived essentially why why were the short masks only in you know north america why why were the you know the collider masks that came with the buzzard there were repaints of Gloria's mask why did they happen like I want you know I want to learn about all these little little tidbits um and but there's also you know European you have the the closed rhino on the logo all different boxes over there uh I believe they're German so there's there's all these different little things that happen between continents and it's just kind of funny because you can collect everything that you think you have, but then there's also all this other stuff too. Um, so if you're, if you're like, I'm going to get everything, well, there's, there's, you better slow down a little bit because there's a lot more you have to get. And it's almost impossible, I would say, to collect the entire mask line. Um, just because the, the people that made it are so, hard to find and talk to in and don't let's not even count in the playful line from argentina um there's probably like eighty five thousand different figure variants out of that one so you know it's gonna be hard to really get it all and, and you know really collect everything but one of the things that you pointed out is that condor you, you know you had that and it was relatively inexpensive one of the things that when i talked to collectors and you know fans etc they usually point to condor or piranha first because they were inexpensive from the first series that was like their first mask toy essentially and um i don't know the translation of uh monetary value between you know the two countries offhand but i think condor was if i remember correctly it was like 5.99 when it first came out um and I, when I did an episode on Sears Wish Book, I talked about the inflation prices too. So, it, you know, talk about inflation prices for today's standards of it, whatever it would cost. Um, if you had, you know, you, your parents, you're, you're dragging them through the store and you're going to buy a toy, they're going to they're gonna spring from that a little quicker than they are for Rhino or for Boulder Hill um, or for Switchblade as, you know, you know, as you know, so Condor was always one of those ones that really, really stuck out for everybody. And I actually, um, I actually want a Condor uh, today, um, a box Condor. Um, the box is beat up, but I wanted to preserve it 
even though it was still a little beat up. That's how I that's how I preserve these things. I I don't go for the you know mint in the box stuff. I mean unless it's unless it's a you know once in a lifetime warehouse find type thing. Um, so I'm trying to you know preserve things. You know a couple couple things at a time here. Like you know there's there's switchblade over there. The box there that's new to the collection and um, you know there's there's a couple things over there like they're not in the best condition, but it's still a preservation type thing. Um, and that's, that's part of what this channel is and what I really want to kind of convey through the website. So, um, so was Switchblade your favorite? Was that, was that your favorite growing up? It was, um, on the cartoon and, and the fact that I never got it, I always wanted it, you know, and, um, and I remember they like, going, there's the birthdays and the Christmases went by and it just didn't, didn't appear, you know, and they, but then you kind of like soft, they kind of let me, my parents kind of like soften the blow when I got like, so like the, the racing series, like I got almost all of that, you know, I got the wild card, um, the, the bullet, you know, the Goliath, uh, you know, um, I just wish I'd have kept the boxes, but you don't, you don't think about that when you're a kid, you know, no. you just want to play with them. And I just like the fact that Goliath like became my favorite because it was like, there was so much you could do on it. You know, literally it was the same with Outlaw, I guess out of the, all the, the, the Venom um, vehicles, I guess Outlaw would be like a close second favorite. Cause again, that was so good you could you could do so much on it you know i don't have all the parts to it you know I'd, unless you unless because you, you you see i've noticed as well you talk about prices the accessories are sometimes better more higher than the figures it's crazy isn't it you know you, you buy like a radar dish for outlaw you can pay up to like 20 20 for that you know and i'm thinking eh, for a little piece of plastic but if somebody needs it to complete a vehicle they will pay for it and i and i wholeheartedly agree with your statement in fact you know your your, your motto is something's only worth what somebody's willing to pay for it and i absolutely agree with you 100 percent um and that's the way i look at it i will only pay for something that i think that it, it's worth and i won't okay Sometimes I get into bidding wars on eBay and I maybe get them at the last second, you know, I put my bid in, I win more I've than lost I, a few of, I I've lost a few of those, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but at the same at the same time you think, oh well, it's only a couple of quid more or a couple of dollars more, whatever. But yeah, again, some things some things that's worth to somebody might only work, be worth something to, to somebody. I guess the saying is an, uh, one man's stealing is another man's floor kind of thing, you know. <laughs> oh, and it, you know, it's it's something to really think about too when when you're collecting these things or if you're so like if you're if you're recollecting and you're buying things that are incomplete but you really want to complete you have to think about that logic there what you, you know what you just brought up you can buy firefly let's say with julio well, without the bomb right you could buy it for like 30 bucks but then that bomb will be 15 dollars 20 dollars and like am i going to spend 20 dollars on you know this like and that's what you have to think about like on that front if it's easier to swallow that price if you're buying it whole as a cult you know as a set instead of piecing it together um if you're trying to repair something that you had when you were a kid like i have my original bulldog so i'm i need the i need the right pipe on the right side that goes you know on the next to the driver uh, the passenger door but I've only seen it for sale for like 40 bucks, you know, 35, $40. And I'm like, it looks fine right now. I'm not spending that on that. Um, where I can probably get a new bulldog for about 80, <laughs> you know, like and you think about it on that front. Um, but worth it's, you know, what you're going to pay is what you're going to pay. You, you know, the sellers are going to dictate the pricing, but as a buyer, you're also going to dictate the cost. So if you're looking at something, you do a watch on it and you just kind of keep an eye on it. Um, recently, I, I've been watching some switchblade rotors that I, I got a switchblade for my, my son to have, you know, for him when he was a little, he's a little older. Um, I needed one rotor, you know, one of the helicopter rotors. And on eBay, they're like 40 bucks for one piece. Uh, and there's repros on there too. So you have that option as well. I ended up getting a pretty good deal on them. Um, I, I have an extra one now if anybody needs one. Uh, so, but the recollecting, it's it's very hard to do with these because of the intricacies of the vehicles. 
the masks and the figures. I, I mean, it really is. There's there's a lot to recollect here. If you want, if you're one of those people that have to have the full of everything, you're going to be in for a really rough time trying to recollect all these items. Yeah. Unless you get it boxed um, completely, you know, sealed, uh, it's going to be hard to do. So, um, I don't know. I Goliath's one of my favorites. I will say that too. I I, I love like you said, what you can do with that. And Outlaw always felt like the Venom base for me since they didn't have a, you know, mm. something tangible for themselves. When you're doing it, when you're playing with those as, as a kid, with the playset factor of it with Boulder Hill, you have that, that, you know, tangibility with it. Uh, as before, you didn't really have anything. Uh, I don't know what else you would even fully utilize, to be honest, because I don't, I don't know what else is mass scale that would have been something that they could have used back then to be like the Venom hideout. Um, so I don't know. I, um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember if, not Starcom. Um, Sky Commanders? Sky Commanders. Did they have a place set? I don't I command. I'm not. I'm not. I mean, I'm, I knew about them, but I'm not. I'm not knowledgeable. Yeah. On, you know, it it was something. It was something that was similar skill, the mask, and then as you say, you've got the different variants all around the world. I'm not just sure around, but, but when you look at Venom as a whole, did they really have just one base? Because in every episode, they were just doing something, and they were in the maybe had they were hiding out somewhere or, or, or doing something. So they never really had a base as such, did they? You know. Yeah. Uh, mask always had. Whereas Masco was had Boulder Hill, you know. True. It is true. It would have been cool though. Like, you know, with, with the Masters line, you know, there was you know, you had Castle Grey Skull and then it was at Snake Mountain. So like and you had at least at least Co at least in G.I. Joe, Cobra had a base like eventually kind of thing, you know, yeah. in the movie. So uh, it's it's kind of curious on that front that it didn't happen that way. But I mean, I'm not going to complain. There's a lot of other things to complain about in line, like Gloria not getting anything really tangible for herself. Um, it's all split seconds, which... Well, to, to, to be fair, you know, these, these split seconds, I know in, in a lot of... In the, it, so we had four series, you know, and this was the last one. Um, and people didn't really see the, the, you know, the value in them because... But if you think about it, you were getting a vehicle plus two figures. Yes, one figure was a see-through, but for the time, you know, and you were spending money, you were getting, and in case you lost one, you'd still have one to play with kind of thing. You know, I mean, you don't think about that as a kid, but when you're thinking about it logically, yeah. people would people would still buy them now. I mean, I, cer I certainly would, because my, my split seconds collection is, is next to nothing right now. But, and if I see one that I think, oh, I'll have that, you know, and then I'll have Fire Force. That's, I think that's the best one. Yeah, with them. Um, Julio Lopez's other variant, yeah. Um, Although his the his mask is a little weird, but Fire Force itself has the the best overall design and transformation. Um, for that for that aspect of it, anyway. If you're gonna if you're gonna start collecting split seconds, go. I would start there. Um, if you know if you can on that front. Um, but you're right though. Think about. Getting Rhino, think about getting Boulder Hill, Volcano. These are these are things that came with two figures, which even though the figures are small, it was unheard of to have two figures come with anything almost, really. I don't remember anything else at that time period that had two figures involved with it. Naturally, scales were bigger, right? But two figures, you didn't care about scaling back then. You still had Matt Track or Flight He-Man or something, you know, or Optimus Prime. It, it's it, you didn't have that, and it was something that Kenner really saw. They saw the value in not only, you know, it, it probably cost a lot less to manufacture the figures, like a ton less than it does to manufacture some of those vehicles. You know, Outlaw too. If you factor in the complexity of Outlaw, Boulder Hill, Rhino, uh, Volcano. That's how they justify the cost points on this, in my opinion. Uh, you have those larger than you know life vehicles, essentially, with all those, all that chrome, all the all the movement in it, all the mechanisms. 
and then you add a second figure, the figures, like I said, they probably didn't cost that much to manufacture. So throwing a second one in wasn't a big deal for Kenner, but it meant the world to us as a, as a consumer. Like, oh, I'm paying, I don't know, $35 for Rhino at that point in time. Uh, I think with inflation today, it's like $97, something like that. Um, so when you think about it in those terms, and you're trying to convince your parents that it's a good deal somehow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> look, you get two figures, look, you know, like type thing. And it, it really does help with that cause. Um, but you're right. I, I agree with you. Like, hey, if I lost a figure, I still had this one. Yeah, I just, I, I just not, I'm not a huge fan of the phones. You know, the, but it was a, they took the whole line and made it split second. And that's how they ran with it. So, I mean, I can't, I can't fault them for it. It's just, it was a weird, it was a weird dynamic, but every one of them came with two figures. So it was pretty cool. Yeah. I think in, in the thing with, with Rhino is you can take the back bit off and then you can put a figure in the little tank bit and have a figure there, you know, which essentially is what, and plus it was cool to get Matt Tracker in his red and, brown outfit with the red mask essentially that's the that's them on the poster right the mask yep. you know that he's got on there um you know so it was a good and obviously rhinos in the in the logo as well so you know it was a good good selling point there Very strange isn't it that the 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 main character his main outfit the spectrum and his main mask was you know his, his main outfit was a spectrum outfit and his main vehicle slenderhawk but yet in the in the logo is Rhino, and that mask. So it makes you wonder. It makes you wonder if that was originally what they were going to go for uh, before they switched. And unfortunately, that was a question I never asked Lance Anderson, but uh, who was you know the creator of logo. He, he created the logo. Um, I always found that interesting that it was based around Rhino and not Thunderhawk, which was pretty much the focus, I would say. Um, of the show, so no, it's kind of it's kind of odd on that front. The only the only thing I can think of is why they possibly went for this, and this is just my opinion. I've got no evidence to to back this up. Is if you think about it, you know, when kids are playing with vehicles and and and, and things that shoot missiles and everything, they like the explosions. So when you look on the logo and it's sort of like there's an explosion around it and it's firing a massive missile. What would you rather have? A little car that maybe flies or something that fires a gigantic missile? To kids, that might have been a bit more appealing and that's a, maybe why they, they went that way, you know, to, to do it that way. I don't know. That's a good point. And, it, and all we can do is speculate because yeah. of the fact that we just don't really have the definitive answer. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to remember... One second. So, in in the UK, do you have the logo with the, with the missile, or would you have? Did you have the closed off one? Um, um, because there's the, you have this couple that there's those two variations where you have the closed off missile firing on right now, and then the one where it's shooting out, which is the one that we're all familiar. Yeah, with. I think. I, 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 if I am, um, if I anticipated the question, I could have checked on my hurricane box because I think that's a that's a UK one. Okay, um, that I've got, um, and I could check to see what it is. But these ones in particular, it just has the open, like the open. Um, oh no! So this this um, this Dynamo one has the closed one, and the Meteor has the open one. Don't know what help it would be because it's kind of like that's the racing series and that isn't. But um, yeah, my my Dynamo is closed, but it also has another language on it that I can't see here. Um, it looks to be German, and I'm almost positive it is a German box. So I think it's mostly German that it happened that way. I don't know if they had something where they couldn't show that violence. It, it was. I talked about it with Andy in, in the episode. I can't, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head. Um, I'll, as when I edit this video, I'll go back and I'll put something up here that talks about that portion of it. Oh, yeah, sure. Because uh, I remember, yeah, that was a very good episode because he had the original molds, you know, for some of the um, the figures. And, and as you say, nobody or maybe will have everything, but that's a good piece to, to have. But if you notice, if you look at the, the way that mask, the, the name, is set out so mobile 
Omad strike command. You notice that the command spelt with a K. There's, there's not a strike, it was a bit weird. So K, could you, how would you normally spell command? Is with a C, right? So what was the, the thing behind that? I mean, what was it the German to do with German, German descent? I, I don't know. I think they probably just forced it in. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, like M- MASC doesn't have the same kind of appeal, the MASK. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Because everyone had a mask, yeah, I, I guess so. I guess you so. Know, I, I I think it was something that I think it was something that they kind of forced a narrative into it. Um where command like you're, you're spelling it with a C and your name's spelled with a Y. Your name, you know, Martin with a Y. And my wife has a Y in her name too for Nikki. Um, they probably like, you know what? Put it in there. Like, let's do it that way. And that's that's what I speculate on that front, how it came to be, where they're looking at they're looking at concepts of it. And they're going, uh, I don't like the way that C ends that la- that line there. Oh, K looks great. Let's do that, and then you know, kind of, kind of go along those lines. Um, and that's that's what I think anyway. But again, it's it's hard to really fully say the you know on, on definitive nature on that front, like where where the the you know the idea came about. But I know I a lot of times on um, Facebook or Twitter, if I see somebody spell command with a C, I'm like, nope, that's wrong. Okay. You know, <laughs> yeah. I, I do it as a joke. Like, connect them. Yeah. yeah. So I do it as like a, as a joke, really. It's just to, people, a lot of people get it. A lot of people don't. Like my, I do it with my family. Like if they ever use that word for some reason, I'm like, no, you spelled it wrong. It's with a K. And they're like, what are you talking about? So, um, you know, I just as a, you know, a side joke for myself, really. So, <laughs> um, but Martin, you, you recently, um, you recently have purchased a couple of things, um, haven't you, from the Chili Fine, right? That's right, yeah. I did too. Um, I have Meteor and Manta back there uh, from the lot that we got. And uh, what do you have in your collection right now? What did you get? Well, I just I asked him. I said, you know, what 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 vehicles were there? I'll give him like a, a list, you know, and obviously it wasn't thinking that it was just the racing series kind of thing that he had, but not with with the exception of Firefly. But you Which know is what? weird, by the way. It's weird the Firefly that it, you know, and Brian and I talked about it a little bit too in the last episode of, of Talking Overtime. How did Firefly get in there? And I, I there's so many questions I have. Um, I didn't mean to interrupt, but it's weird the Firefly is in with those grouping because before they also had Goliath and Buzzard as well. Um, but the, you know, and then all the other ones that were there and then Firefly. So it's kind of weird on that front. So. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I agree, but you know, when, so when an opportunity like this comes along, if it, at first you have reservations, of course, because you don't know whether it was real and, you know, and the, and the fact, and this is again, ton of respect for you, Bill, you got him on the show, you got him to talk about how it came about and he's, you know, and he did a wonderful job of communicating. Yes. He's getting a lot of what we call a uh, stick, but kind of like network, or in other words, negative comments. But you know, he's been nothing but a gentleman with me. The whole process was as soon as he had the vehicles available, he took a picture of every single one individually. He sent them to me. He said, "Look, this is the packaging. This is what we're going to do. We're going to give you a free Manta box as a, you know, a souvenir." Um, and he says, "This is how long it's going to take. We'll get the payment. We'll send it out to you." And it literally took four days. Four days. When he, by the time he sent it, and we and I and you weren't, I, I understand why you only could buy like two or more because the trips to the post office, the postage alone, because somebody else, um, maybe 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 he's bought them, maybe he's, and they had to pay two lots of um import duty, taxes, that sort of thing. Whereas I just thought if we just do it all in one go, it'll be done, and then you know, and, and for the price, the peers absolutely agree with you there. You're not gonna. You, the fact that he's targeted collectors is a major plus for him because, you know, some of them will get them and put them on eBay as you've already seen. Yes, but those of us who really want to collect them and and, and take care of them, like myself, um, that's the reason why you would jump at the chance like this because I would have regretted it had I not have done it. You know, and 
I don't want, really want to go down that path again. But I got all five. You know, I've got all five. And speaking of Buzzard and Goliath, watch this space because um, hopefully there'll be a me collection soon, sooner rather than later. And by all means, what I'd like to do is because I've already said Goliath's my favourite out of the, the goodies, if you like the good side, I'd like to um, to do an unboxing of that. Now, that would make my day if we could do that, you know? Oh, wow. I would. So that would that would be amazing because I didn't own that when I was a kid. Um, so that would be something for me to see, like, you know, taking it out. When I, you know, we, we talked about it a little bit beforehand before we started, you know, you know, recording and talking, you know, things that you didn't have when you were a kid, like, you know, it's 35 years later, you're going to get, you're going to get the same experience you had when you were five opening this thing up right now. Like you're going to open it up. You're probably going to be a little giddy and you know, I won't edit it out. Um, I'm going to leave it in, but you know, you, you think about that aspect of it and you know, the last couple of episodes I have been heavy on the chili find. But it's such a it's such a unique thing that has happened, especially with this community, because that's this, this isn't a this isn't a warehouse full of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This isn't a warehouse full of GI Joe. This is a warehouse full of mask toys and some other toys as well that I don't care about. <laughs> but, you know, maybe the Sky Commanders a little bit, but you know, you have all these things here, and Yang Li and Marco. Um, the two gentlemen who are you know selling these. What you know, my and when I talked about Mask being 35 and when I talked about the chili fine, and if if the communities weren't here, that, that whole thing just could have been gold Um, so I'm glad that the collectors are able to have these things tangibly in their collection. Um, whoever you know, if you can afford it, it you know, it's 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 something like I, I talked about owning a piece of history, that's what it is to me. Uh, I, I couldn't afford all of them, but I have a couple. And that's enough for me. Um, be, just to be able to say that, hey, look, you know, back in the day, there was this warehouse that was full of mass toys. And this is, this, these were sealed in Chile, of all places. Um, and, you know, we interviewed the people and talked to them, you know, talked to them about what, how and why and and you, you know, and as you said, it was like it was like four days for shipping to the United States from Chile. I was like, what, you know, he's like, I shipped it. I'm like, okay, and I I, I stopped thinking about it. And it was sitting there. I was, I was quick. Um, so yeah, the, the the shipping costs are high, but think about where it's coming from and think about how large the packages are. I didn't, you know, it, getting all five in that box. It's a large box. Yeah, and mm -hmm. you know, it's it's a lot easier if you can't afford all of them at once. To if you have a couple friends still, you know, to collect them, to, you know, pull together if you can on that front, uh, and then ship them individually after you get them in. Uh, well, I think I think what he was getting at was if you bought them as a book, he kind of give you a little bit of a discount, and you know, and that and to me, right, I understand where he's coming from because. You know, it, as well, and it was agreed between him and Marco, you know, um, what they would do and the communication and everything. And the, the really have been first class, you know, he's always, a, you see, even after the sale, I kept in touch with him. And I says, look, if you come across a Bozad and a Goliath, you know, can can I have them? You know, he says, they're, they're yours if we ever, if we come across them. And funny enough, he messages the other day and said, look, we've got a Goliath. We can send it out. Yes, as well. But, I wanted to wait until he had a buzz. I didn't get them both together because the one wanted to waste his time just sending one thing from the post office. When if he sends them both together, I just need to pay one shipping cost. You know, I might even I might I might even consider getting another Manta and be able to open that one because that's the one I don't really want to open because it's like again, you know, it was a really cool vehicle and I've still got mine um, incomplete, but I've still got the the figure with the mask and you know that one. As well, it might might make us change my mind, you know, about doing it. But whenever I want to do something like this, if if I can, you know, come on here and do it, it would make it better than just sitting there and doing it by myself. Do you know what I mean? And then everybody, then yeah. everybody 
can say you appreciate it. Hopefully the people watching appreciate, you know, where I'm coming from kind of thing. Well, no, I, if, if you're willing to do that, I'm, I'm more than willing to watch um, and record it and post it to the channel because it's, it's part of what I'm trying to do with you know, the preservation of things. Even though you're going to open something up today, it's still preservation. You're showing what you're going to be doing is showing somebody the memory of opening the box. And that's preservation to me. Um, I, I'm, I'm excited to see what we get out of this because I don't remember the innards. Um, the, the last time I probably opened up a mass box was 1987, probably. And it was probably, you know, pit stop catapult or something like that. Like, uh, I unfortunately don't remember all that, you know, that far back, but it'll be interesting to see what we have out of here. So if you, if you want, you, you, you know, you said you might be willing to open up one of these, for, you know, for the, for this interview here. Yeah, I've got two. I'm, I'm going to I'm going to do um, Dynamo and Medio. Uh, um, you know, it was a it was a kind of like a choice between Medio and Iguana, and, and I've already got um, an Iguana kind of complete as my original. You know, but I never had Medio or Dynamo as a kid, so you know it's better to do it that way because some they say something you never had, you never miss. But this is exciting because it's something that I never got to do, and I always thought that Medio looked cool as well as um, Skybolt. Again, that's another one I really never had, and it look somebody at school. I remember a uh, memory of that was we used to have in. Um, how you would say uh, junior school. So I guess, uh, you know, um, you would have these days at the end of term where you could bring toys in, you know, and they would have like what you would call a play day, toy day, you know, and people would bring their mass toys in. I remember I, said, um, I had a piranha, but somebody else brought it in, so I had to bring in something else. I remember taking me Thunderhawk in, you know, as, as a thing. But somebody had Skybolt, and I was wondering what it was because it it, it kind of like it, he pulled it apart, and it was like, wow, I've never seen that before. And I just remember holding it for like a few seconds, and that's it, kind of thing, you know. All right, that's enough time for you to pull that away. I'm going to go play with this in the corner now. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. I think, was it my tracker you got with that one, wasn't it? Yes, that's correct. Um, with, I, I think they called it Spectrum. Because um, I think all those masks were the same mask names, if I remember correctly, um, from the previous ones. They didn't really get created with those. Um, I mean, it's hard to find When I open, when I open these made. up, do I, do I have to put the stickers on? Do you think it would be good to do that or should I just leave them intact? I'm I'm just happy you've seen in the box opening and you know I, yeah. I'm just I'm just happy that you offered to do it. Okay. Then, yeah, but the another reason I did doing this is because I want to show people who's interested in purchasing something from Yang Li or uh, Marco just exactly what they're gonna get. They might just get it and just stick it in the Cupboard, you know, or the, or wherever they display them, and they may not want to do it, but at least to know that if they ever did do it, what would be inside, kind of thing. Oh, so you think you think mine are empty? <laughs> no, 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 I no. Kidding, kidding. I think the, the, I mean, you, you cleared out the whole Batman shell for the thing. I did. And, 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 that, and that just goes to show how much passion you've got for mask if you're going to get rid of a Batman thing for it, you know. I did. I was like, all right, I'm tired of Robin falling down, so. Push it out the way. So, uh, without further ado, whichever one you want to open first. Let's, yeah, sure let's thing. Dive in. But uh, I, as soon as I got them, you know, I put them in bubble wrap because cardboard, as you know, has a tendency to um to go off. So, what we've got here is a dynamo. Now, apparently, this was from a a, a similar warehouse find. I I don't know where it was. Um, I you know, was, but, if I remember correctly, it was Singapore. I know the guy. I know the guy had a few billboard blasts as well, but they were gone years ago. That's what he told me. Otherwise, I would have had one. But bought those. Okay, so let's see if um. So we've got the closed logo there. Um, and this is the flip it over there. I'm not even sure which way it's going to come out. So it's got a little bit of tape on there. I think I'm going to do it without trying to do it without ripping it. But here we go. Uh, if it's going to rip it, I think I'll just split it, but... Yeah, whatever see. you're comfortable with. There's no... Yeah, yeah, sure. 
Oh, hang on. It's coming. It's coming. Let's have a look. For this portion of it here, I'll make your video larger than mine because nobody wants to look at my face as you're opening a box up. So, <laughs> uh, you're too um, too hard on yourself, Bill. You know. Oh, uh, I'm just being realistic. Right. Oh, I didn't realize there was some tape on the. <laughs> no, there, there's a lot of extra tape everywhere on these things. <laughs> I'll throw that tape away. Hang on, I'll get it. I'll get it in just a sec. Yeah, my my dynamo actually. I've got the, the thing is, I'm not too bothered about this because I've got two of these, you know. So that's why I'm not really bothered about this one, right? So let's see what we've got. For those of you watching, I uh, hope the pension is not getting to you here. <laughs> Boy, this is embarrassing. <laughs> it's not embarrassing. You're take, you know, take your time. Don't rip the box. Don't do it. Do what you're doing. You're you're already doing the community a service here by showing you know a box that's open. Like this is what you would have gotten when you were a kid. Open it up. Um, except um, except yeah. if you had Dynamo or Billboard Blast when you were a kid, then your parents hated you. So. <laughs> I did have I, I've still got mine Billboard Blast but unfortunately it's missing the gun and two missiles the two big orange missiles you know you're not you're not missing much there but it? I've got I've still got Dusty Hayes's version 2 with a with a gold mask I've still got that I, I the figure's amazing yeah it is I like the contrast the orange and the lilac is kind of like yeah, you know. the rest of the toy is uh, you know people have customised it so I've seen you know the customizations are nice. Getting it to fall is nice. ah, right. So now I know that you've got to do the top, you've got to do the side, and you've got to do the bottom. You know, kind of got this as a discount because with it being packaged, it was like a little. The box was slightly um, damaged a little bit. Little crush there, yeah. A little bit of a crush. So he said you can have the two for such and such, and I thought, well, you know what, one's perfect in the box. You know, in this one, that's why I've decided to do it. But here we go. Big moment, yeah. See, like, and right. a lot of collectors, like, so you can don't, see. don't recreate that that insert for the box. Like, the, bo the box inserts are mostly messy. And they'll recreate those out of other cardboard. Wow. It, but, still, it still smells as fresh as it did back then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't, was it, was it? Uh, like, and then again, you know, how would you know? I think I think it was just a case of opening it up. So you see the the cardboard. Ah, look, there's the there's the clone straight away on the on the inside of the box. As soon as you open it up, there's there he got his hands up. He's like, I surrender. <laughs> well, again, this is again, this is a figure and then of figures that I never had, you know. So um, I, I always felt bad for Versado with this because he was such an integral part of the show and the original toy line. Like, if I, ah, it comes out as a whole. Yeah, it should pull keep, right out of it. I want to keep the box, so I'll just say whatever is inside the box. So, so you yeah. should have the instructions and then the stickers and a yeah, and then the um. Like a thing that, like an advertisement thing. Uh, I, I'm guessing this. Ah, right. So these are these are the instructions, but they're not the paper ones. You know the black and white ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this this must have been off the later series. That um. So you've got the stickers there, and you've got the instructions that tells you what to do with it, kind of thing. You know? It might be folded in there. I don't remember. I, I'm trying to remember if. If like they have the advertisement piece of it on the one side, I don't remember seeing that. You know, like well, the instructions on the other. And this is um, if I can show you the where we go. So we've got the helicopter bit, which I assume so nice and nice after however long it was there. You know, it's still yeah. Kind of still in good, con very that's, good condition. That's pretty nice to me. That's that's yeah. some good chrome right there. Oh yeah. Well, the thing is, people people buy them chrome pens, you know, and they're very good for touching up um, paintwork on toys like this. You know. Um, and here we go. That's the bottom bit. <laughs> kind yeah, of that, like, that's the piece you give to your little brother. 
Well, <laughs> ah, but, but you see, these are very stiff and, you know, and it's just as is if it just came out of the box, which technically it did. You know? <laughs> but, yes. um, I don't even know how to put this together. I'm so, gonna, um, pull, the, pull the propeller pieces inward as you place it down on that and it should lock in place. I forget which, like it's hard to see which way is front though, but the the base will hold, if I remember correctly, the base holds the wings in place. It might be that way there. There should be a way for it to like sit. And, yeah, it looks. Uh, it's not delicate. I don't really want to snap it. In. Ah, it looks like ah, in there. There you I go. Got it. <laughs> Hang on, and then that goes in there. It's ah. one of the simplest. It's one of the simplest transformations in the in the line, but you know, wow. as as bad as people really you know say things about Dynamo, I will say that if you were a kid getting this, you can actually tangibly play with this and not be frustrated with it. You know, you're not gonna you know you're not gonna care about the fact that it's a doom buggy and. Grusado, it's weird. Like you know, you got that as a kid. Is it damn? Um, does it come apart as easy as I put it together? Then I think you just pull it up. If I remember correctly, you do. I'll get mine if you want me to test it. <laughs> I think you just. I, I think you just pop it off there. But I'll, let me get my. No, I'll get mine. I'll test mine. Where's it at? There it is. Actually, I think I'll just leave it. <laughs> Don't want to snap it. Right, so, um, because the plastic made um, made you see the um, you see the black triggers here in it. Ah, oh, right, yeah. If you if you push those in, you can lift it off. Ah, oh, right, got you, got you. Yeah, I just had to, I had to make sure that I was telling you the right thing instead of breaking it completely. <laughs> but again, again, you know, this is this is exciting because it's like a it's a one I never had, you know, as you can tell. <laughs> No, it's it's also hard to remember how they transform completely too. Like it's not something that you do every day. It's like you go, you know, I don't go into my cabinets there behind me every day and just transform those. If I'm sorry if anybody thought that. Um, well, but that one, so that's Dynamo than everybody. That's um, you know, a big big moment there. Um certainly takes you back. Um opening the boxes, you know, for the first time. I mean, I, I think you're probably right. The last one that I remember getting um, was in the racing series. And it probably was something like Buzzard or, or Pit Stop Catapult, something like that, which I do. I did. I, I probably lost Pit Stop Catapult because I remember buying it um, oh, many years ago, complete from like a, um, a yard sale or whatever, you know, um, what you would call a yard sale. Yep. Um, it, was very, it was very about five, uh, about eight bucks, probably about that, about eight dollars, yeah. you know. That's complete. a good deal. Oh, yeah, it had the mask, it had the three tires, it had everything. You had the sticker already on kind of thing, but, you know. Um, but one thing I do miss, and I, I don't have it anymore, um, and I remember having it, was the collector booth. I love that. i still got the figure, but so, like in the different colour thing, but I haven't got the, the collector. So booth. one thing that I'm I'm sad about is that I had the, I had the, the giveaway one. I had that box, like, you know, you send the UPCs in and you get the, the oh, the red, and, the red and white one. The red. And yeah, white one. I, I wish I still had that. Um, because you could get it, you could buy it in its actual box, but you had the free one, which you know it was pretty cool. Like it's such a different looking piece out of if you're looking at. Did you have to collect the tokens, didn't you? To um, to get yeah, it. you had to get um, um, off the top of my head, I think it was two UPCs. So like you had to send in two UPC codes, and. I think you had to pay shipping if I remember correctly. And then you got that for free, you know, quote unquote. So yeah, there was, there was that dynamic of it. Um, but it, that's definitely going to be one of the ones that were like the last ones that I, I purchased in the set when I was a kid that I remember anyway on that front. So, um, and Meteor, I have when I was a kid, I do remember that. I remember, I, I remember it was really, it was pretty cool when it was together. And when it was apart, I was like, what, what's happening? Why, what is this thing here on the ground compared to this little jet thing? Why would I want to use this 
when I have a jet. Like I always, I always remember that. And I always remember saying, Hey, you know, my brother, my brother's name is Michael. I'm like, Michael, here, you can be this, you know, you can, you can be the back of Rhino. You can be like, you know, I, you know, stuff like that. Um, but so meteor, you have that box here too. You're willing to open that up. Yeah. All right. Yeah, no, this, I, I have no, just, no, just to clarify, I don't, I don't have your family hostage or anything like that. Right. Um, I have no blackmail on you to open this up. This is you freely opening this up, correct? It is. Um, you know, it's, it's again, you know, it was going to be this or iguana. And I just thought, well, iguana is like too little. And, you know, if you want somebody to watch this and see what they're actually going to get, if they're thinking about getting one of these or more of these, you know, it's better for them to see you know, first, and then they'll know that it's real and everything else. And then, but for me, it's just kind of like something that I could, I, I mean, thinking about it now, I probably could open them all, but, you know, I think to myself, well, it's see, to, for me, it's not about, it's not about the money. It's about the tangibility of holding something. See, I'm like you on that. I'd prefer, I'm not, not big on the box stuff. So all them boxes you've got on your wall there, they're, I haven't hardly, I haven't hardly got any of them, right? I've they're in rough shape. They're not, you know, they're not for steam. You know, it's like I said earlier, I bought a Condor box. It was rough, but I wanted to, you know, tangibly keep it in that front. But before we open that up, is that your son in the background there? The picture? Oh, uh, that? I can't. It's hard to tell. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Um, yeah, that's um, that's um, my son um, when he, um, I think he was, um, I think it was, like literally one, I think, and not even that. I think, it, um, yeah. Um, so I've got two children. Um, he, he is now 13. 13, okay. <laughs> yeah. He's and, a little um, older in that picture, okay. Definitely, definitely. He's grown, <laughs> he's grown very fast. And obviously, um, in, in me, my daughter, she's 10. Um, so, but his birthday is when they go back to school, kind of, um, kind of thing. Um, and just a, talk a little bit um about my son i mentioned the uh, you know off um off camera that um i visited america um quite a bit um newark uh, airport we, we would fly back that way because it was um kind of less expensive yeah but i've got a couple of friends in um in new york um and my son um he's um he's what you were he's he's, he's autistic um, and special needs, and we took them to the Autism Treatment Center of America, which is in between. Um, if you go one way, you're in Massachusetts. If you go the other way, you're in Connecticut. So I went over a few times to learn the stuff, and then we managed to get them over there to get some treatment, you know. Um, and it worked, you know, um, and for the time that we were, we were there, um, and it certainly, um, you know, helped. Um, with him and um, and it was an experience so you know and he was fine you know on the plane the journey it was a long journey obviously it's it, as it is but um, you know it, it, it was fine but you see he um, the the family you know when I'm when I'm doing me collecting dad's got to have his hobby hobby right you know <laughs> so you know this is me um, and a lot of people collect different things as, as you know but I, I just Going back to the um, back to the eighties, if if there was a decade I could go back to, it definitely would be um, the eighties. There was loads going on, you know. The toy toy mania was was at its peak. Um, you know, you could collect anything you, you wanted or buy above board anything, you know, um, within reason. You know, it would cost your parents more than it cost you, but still. Yes, that, that's. Yeah, no, it's good. It's good to um, to ask about um, ask about the family because did you say that? Um, that um, Nick Nicole was a teacher. Um, yeah, she's um she's actually uh, uh you know I I I I didn't set this up in any way on that question. Um, she's actually a special uh, special education uh, English teacher, and her passion is to to help every every child reach their maximum potential, um, and then more. That's, you know, it's so it's hard for her right now. And it's hard for everybody with COVID. Um, you know, it's hard to learn remotely. It's hard to, it's hard for the teachers to teach half a class. It's, or you know, if three people in the class are about to remote. 
um, especially if the child has certain you know needs that help him or her learn you know more efficiently um but it's interesting that you came over to the states for that um is is that area known for like like really good like um uh you know help for that for yeah all- i think because the, 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 there's nothing really like it well that i know of in the uk okay. So we found out about it and, you know, we had to do our own fundraising. So, um, you know, that GoFundMe, right? Um, we used that and we got some a, a little bit of success, um, you know, from that. So that brings me you, when you did the link for um, for Brendan, you know, um, and that's how I found out about it through your video, you know, which I'm grateful that you did that. So I was able to um, to help a little bit. And I got talking to Sharon, you know, um, yeah. Sharon. Yeah. Just fine, you know. I mean, she obviously I messaged her and I explained how big of a fan I was, you know, and I always liked um, Vanessa as the best. Um, well, there wasn't much choice, but between yeah, it was it was Gloria. Vanessa, Gloria, and the computer. <laughs> oh, and then I suppose you could you could count um, Professor Stevens. Yes, yeah. I mean there were all, there were a couple other female characters, but the show was definitely yeah. dry. I just I work. just explained how I, I really enjoyed um you know um the bad guys basically and Miles with with Miles being top of the list and then what I liked about him is he just never gave up, did he? He kind of was there every episode doing something. And, almost almost every episode. I yeah. I was when I did that episode on like appearances, I was surprised at the tallies that I had. Um, <laughs> Oh, that's just me dogs barking in the background. <laughs> that's right. Mine will probably start barking soon too. So, yeah. But um, no, it's. Did so? Did your did your kids have it? Did you play let them play with the toys when they were younger? Like, did they have a favorite one that they went for? To be to be honest, um, they didn't bother with my my stuff, and it, I mean, I never really encouraged it because, well, for a start. It was all. It was, it was most of the stuff was already in me. Da, in me, dad's attic. You it was know, story, so you okay? Yeah, that makes sense. So all me stuff from being a kid, I've I've managed to get most of it now from there and bring it to mine. But where in our but all the stuff in the loft, it's stuff I've collected over the years. So it's kind of like all some of the, a lot of box stuff and packets and stuff, a lot of loose stuff. Okay. Um, you know, as well as I've I've only got a, a few bits and pieces around um around my desk, I suppose. Um, I'll show you one thing I've got. Ultimate <laughs> Warrior. All right. But, but but these I've got the original, the Hasbro ones. But these are what you call retros, and they're a big thing now. And I've only just started. I've only got a handful, but um, I think I'm gonna have to um leave them alone. Otherwise, I'm gonna overspend. You know, <laughs> especially. Yeah, I got a I got a couple things in my office too. Um, yeah. Oh. Well, listen, where, where I'm talking to you now from, this is kind of my office for work. Because so I, I kind of roll out the bed into my chair kind of thing now. Yeah. So, yeah. No, I, um, I, I don't, I don't care if it's, I don't, I don't, anybody, I don't care if anybody from work watches these videos. So right next to me here, I, you know, Dorn of the day, I have a t-shirt on and then I have like a dress shirt sitting here. So if I have to do a meeting, I put it on. <laughs> and I can do a Zoom background, you know. I go well, here. To, to, be, to be fair, I mean, I still communicate <laughs> with our, you know, the customers um, that I, I do, speak to. I do the, I do a Zoom background or something with my shirt on. Well, I, I then, can't get my Zoom background to work because I was wanting to have a mask one for today, but my computer is not strong enough to. to I realize what the problem your, was. Um, your your memory, right? The memory, I. It's not not big enough to have the background. So. No, I it, it, the it's color. I could change it. I could put myself into black and white or CPI. I got this one here, the mass computer, right? And then oh, you, got, you got Boulder Hill here. Um, <laughs> yeah. I tried to do this here with the, I think this is the, the opening, but it didn't come out large enough. I don't know why it happened. <laughs> um, but no, I, so what I'll do is I'll, I have the shirts there, so if I if I if I'm doing like a, a you know an actual meeting for work, which I do a lot of, I'll throw that on real quick, and I'm like, all right, back into the t-shirt. Am I wearing pants? Nobody will know. <laughs> I'm not telling anybody. So it's you know it's it's an interesting dynamic because I I my office is here, and if I'm in a professional business meeting, unless the person really knows me, it's not really 
conducive to have all of this behind me because um, it's very distracting. <laughs> you know, people ask a lot of questions. Like I did it a couple of times. I'm like, oh, what is that? Oh, I, you know, and I'm like, all right, I got to I got to make sure I keep that virtual background up for, you know, these these types of things. Not not these things, but like when I'm doing a meeting, but I have I literally have three shirts sitting right here next to me and I just pop up, put it on, ready for a meeting, <laughs> ready for a meeting. So. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to get through as many of your videos as I, as I can because there's that many. But I've noticed, I noticed in the earlier days it was a different like um, I was, it was intro, and it was a different route, like kind of them cabinets weren't there in the, in the earlier times, you know. And I've been much, I've been going back and just picking key things out that I wanted to watch, you know, the interest. And I mean, I'm not saying that. Oh, oh. No, no, there's some that are, there's there are some that I'm like. I will, I will watch them eventually, but just bits that I want to watch. Like when you did the tier, I'm I'm actually in the middle of watching the tier one where you put the vehicles in order, kind of thing. Okay. And because um, I, I I just wanted to see what your opinion was of, of where they should rank and you were talking to you know to, to Brian um and stuff like that. But I've I'm enjoying the um the 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 two weekly sessions, you know, that you and Brian do the talk and over time seems to be working well, seems to be getting a good response. And then um, yeah. doing and the one it's it's, See, it's I, thought, I, I, thought, it. I, I thought you would have went for that um to call it the Ferris wheel because that makes sense. That I mean and and you know it's it's <laughs> play on your name, sure. But if you think about it I think it would catch on, you know, and the fans, hey, you know, they, they would go for well, it. Well, the last episode, we kind of cheated a little bit because we really wanted, know. you know, we had the we had the chili find and we wanted to talk about it. So I sat here, I was like, I, I, I was like, all right, um, that works. All right, that's different. It's different wording. We had, there has to be eight in the wheel and it has to spin. And we have to pick from that. But in the next episode, we're going to, you know, go back to, other topics but we really wanted to talk about that portion of it um um but i, I mean um before we get in the meteor though did you I, did you, you know, expose the kids to washing mask at all like watching the cartoon well the, if it the um my daughter watches a lot of things on youtube and um and we started um our, i'm just show you uh, so i've got um but the, I've, I've been watching this myself because I've never watched it all the way through. You know, I, I mean, I, um, I know I've, I've watched them like kind of on YouTube, but I'm just trying to get through as many as I can. And we started watching it. I think we got through a couple of discs and then she started watching it on YouTube. But it's not it's not something that she's really interested in. But my son, he likes um, cartoons like that. You know, he likes the animation stuff, particularly the Pixar series, you know, with Disney. He likes all of that. And he likes the the, you know, the UK versions of um, of cartoons like that, you know. But he'll obviously, because of the condition, he'll have a phase where he'll watch something like, say, Fireman Sam for like forever and a day. And all of a sudden, he'll move back to Thomas and eventually he'll go back to Fireman Sam, you know, kind of thing. Um, and, you know, and it, which is good, you know, he's 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 be, he's educating himself on, on animation and stuff like that, you know. So um, I, look for, I look forward to the day where Liam will hopefully gravitate towards some of the 80s cartoons. I won't force it on, but you know he has he has a pretty good you know kind of option behind him here with some of this stuff behind him and um you know and there's a lot of really good stuff that was out in the 80s um so no it's good to, it's also good to learn about you as the person and your family as well because that's what makes you you and it's 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 not something that's really delved into and it might not appeal to everybody but i like talking about those elements um because as i said earlier it's about it's about keeping the memory going and these are you know, all these things that you've talked about today are what keep you moving forward with this um and i'm guessing you have a lizard or some turtles behind you i'm not going to ask you to take them out uh, <laughs> but you know <laughs> no it's um you were close it's a tortoise okay this one. I, I have a red ear slider, um, and you know, so it, it makes it, it makes things rather interesting when you when you turn the when you turn the light out and all people can see is a red light, you know, from the window, <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, yeah, and um, but yeah, I will um, delay no longer and let's get into this. Um, 
You know, what? when was this out? 1987? Is that right? 1987? Yes. 87, I believe. You, you should see it on the box. I'm trying to remember if the racing series came out at the same time, a split second. Yeah, yeah, 87, it says there. So what, okay. is, that, is that 33 years old? 33? Is that right? Yes. Well, here we go. 33 years worth of history. And again, the reason why I did pour it in the bubble wrap is because I will be putting it back in the bubble wrap eventually. But um, so, as you can see, um, the figure on the front there looks um, ah, awesome. Yes, right. I, I, I didn't. I didn't have the other one that he was in slingshot. Never had that one. Never. Are both like the, the figures are really good. Both East Riker figures are really good in the series. Um, right. Slingshot. I think is better than Meteor, but you know it's it's you know everybody's opinions are different. But in, interesting with this one, in contrast to Dynamo, it's going to be easier getting the box open because it's literally just two sides of tape. Now the only thing I will say is um, when I got my box full of the vehicles, it had to me it had looked like customs had been in having a look to see what it was. They didn't open these boxes, but they opened the box that it came in because you could tell that it had been cut down the side because the, the tape was cut that way. So they've got every right to look at it, of course, because they don't know what it is. And um, and luckily, they probably thought, oh, well, it's just toys, because essentially it's a good job they didn't think anything was in this, you know. Yeah, it's, that's one of the things that um, I try to I try to ask people to convey, too, is like my the box I, I received from Yang Lee was it wasn't touched. Um, but I hear I'm hearing a lot of um, UK, Germany, in that area, when these are being shipped over there, Customs is opening them up, um, not opening up the boxes completely, but opening up the the outer box. Um, some people do have it where they are opened, which is a shame, um, but that's you know not the fault of the sender; it's the fault of Customs. Right. So, I just decided not to rip the cover of the box and just leave the tape on as is. So, here we go. There it is. <laughs> 1987, eh? What we were doing in the 87, I think we were five, weren't we? So, <laughs> uh, I was probably, I had really, I think I had long hair then. Um, I was probably torturing my little brother, probably. <laughs> hmm. This has proven a little bit more difficult. Than... Uh, Spence is killing me. I think you're I, you're delaying on purpose here. <laughs> I was. <you> know, <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. There right. we go. And there, let it breathe, as they say. <laughs> like a fight. Against... Like yeah, a like fine, a fine wine bill, it always. Fine wine, yeah. So that's what you get, you know. There we've got this. This is the cardboard insert, so you know you can see right down the bottom of the box. Um, and before, you, before you take that out, think about the engineering that went into this packing it in the box too. Think about that person's job, the engineer, the box. That's that's important to think about here because all like that survived thirty whatever years, as it was intact. And nobody really thinks about the innards, like of that, you know, on that front. When you open Dynamo, it flipped open, and then you pull it out. Like that took engineering. It, it's something that people don't really think about. It's it's a cool thing. Not as not as lavish as you know the outer box design, but still pretty cool. Well, here we go. So ah. Now, this is what I was talking about. Yeah, <laughs> correct. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And you know, no yellow one, no yellow one. White is the, ah, the mixers fell out. It was the <laughs> stickers. There we yeah. go. There we go. Wow. I should, um, <laughs> should I put them on or should I not? Uh, um, I suppose I better. Yeah. No, in, in my own time, I think, ah, right. So what we've got is we've got the front end of the the 
plane here. This is the, the front end of it. Uh, the little cockpit part of it. Okay. I've got something else that I don't know what this is because, as I say, I've never had this one as a as a child. Probably. Uh, oh, you got the calendar. Okay. Ah. The calendar's probably out of date. Um, <laughs> 19, 1988. Yeah, you know. it's probably out of date. Um, don't don't use that as your calendar. Uh, probably stick to your cell phone. <laughs> yeah, but then um, so that's that. Um, let's take it out a little bit more. So if I just pop the box there, and we see the rest of it as it is. And that's what I mean. Like, look at the engineering of the box. See how like you have the slope where that calendar was put in place. Ah, hang on, it does flip. It does flip. Like, open. That's that like that's a piece of engineering right there that's so overlooked and, and, it, and he's actually it's actually cut so that you can replace it like so that it all fits together like that look at see? how look at how intricate that is it, that's just a box kind of really like put everything they had in there's it. there's the figure with the bombs and um, for yeah. billboard blast but they really put everything in that they could yes right got there Right, so that ah, right, so that flips up back. Oh dear, I think I, I thought I had done something to it there. The wings, um, the wings flap at that point when it's not locked in place. So you're you're okay. Okay. I thought I had broken there. No, no, it, when it when you lock it in place, it'll they'll they'll be uh, the plastic. You know the feel of the plastic. It brings back all those memories of holding something out the box for the first time. You know, of course, um, you know, and it's just like anything else. It's just a piece of plastic to some person. You know, to some people, it's just plastic. It's just a toy. Probably thinking, you know, um, well, why are you getting so excited just about you know about a piece of plastic? But well, think know, about how fast you would have thrown memories, that box. Isn't it? Memories. No, it is like that box that you're holding, and then the other box you would that would have been in the trash already, and then you have, yeah. and then your you have meteor open, and you're you're asking your parents to put the stickers on, and that's it. Like it, it doesn't, you know, hindsight, as they say, you know, is twenty twenty, and it, you know the the fact that you were able to share that and open it up and and to break the seal of it. To show people like what's inside there, it's a it's a really cool thing that you're able to do there, Martin. And I I appreciate it because it's something that I don't get to see every day as a collector, as somebody who tries to keep this thing going as best I can. Um, I, I was very disappointed with Brian on episode two of Talk It Overtime where he didn't actually open pull it, but maybe next time I'll, I'll get him to do it. Um, well, to no. me, it's not. To me, it's not. Um, it's see, open it. So what I've done, what I've just done there, essentially, is decreased its value if it had any. You know, like if this video had any value, and that's all we're talking about here is money. You yeah. know, and you know, and that's all I've done. I mean, I've still got the box. Somebody would still buy this today, even if it was unopened, as long as the parts were still there and everything, and it was complete and it was unopened. Because I haven't opened the plastic bits, you know. Yeah. But it's not the. That's not what. That's not what I was uh, aiming for, and I, and I don't think that would I ever sell this. I don't know. I, I don't want to. You know, it's not. It's not something that I want to do. I just want to keep it there. You know. But uh, oh, he has Jack here. Hello, son. You okay? Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> hey, good see you, Bob Shield. You want to do it for you? Uh, <laughs> he's just probably heard we're talking. You know, and he's probably want to come in. That's okay. Yeah. No, I um, I appreciate the time that you spent with me here today talking about you know why you collect and how you collect and definitely sharing uh, you know the opening of those those items. It's something that people don't get to experience, and it's it's a huge thing. You know, I, I talk about I talk a lot about mass community, and what you just did shows what this community is all about it's about the sharing of the memories and the sharing of what you have and what's tangible and um you know it really he's lost um he's lost the signal for his cable TV, <laughs> cable tv can you, just give me, can you just give me a couple of minutes and i'll go and fix it for him is that all right well i mean i was going to close it up here um oh, okay oh so yeah if you you know we can do that i um sure 
I know I appreciate uh, the time, as I said, and I I look forward to chatting with you again if you if you're you know ready for that. Someday. That's absolutely that's what that's what I was going to say. You know, I enjoy um I enjoy that show that you've got with Brian, um you know talking over time and perhaps you know in the future you know as when you do more episodes of it you might want to make it into a trio <laughs> you know well, we're, we're thinking about maybe you know inviting other people into it as we do it so uh i'll keep you on the list as that sound oh yeah yeah absolutely but um you know if, if you just want to just um do do a part two kind of thing like later on down the line you know i'm always available and i'm you know i'm, I'm always doing up for doing something like that. or if um if other mask vehicles arrive in the meantime and I want to do an unboxing, you know, then then I then I know that you're all right with that, you know. Yeah. Well, Martin, um, again, I appreciate the time. I hope you're able to stay safe. I need you to help your son now. Make sure he can watch TV. Um, <laughs> yeah. Because otherwise, he's going to drive you crazy, probably. So, until next time, that's Martin. I'm Bill. Please like, comment, and subscribe to help keep Mask alive. And we'll talk to you later. Been an absolute pleasure, Bill. Thank you, sir. Take care. Stay safe.